Hello, and welcome to Piranha's Quizzerini, the quizziest Quizzerini in the world. Is it? Yes. I'm Piranha the host, but that's enough from me. Let's welcome the contestants and do that voodoo that we do so well. First up, Glenn, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm here to win. I brought Des and Troy with me, and we're here to destroy. Right, ladies and gentlemen, he's enthusiastic. Now, our next contestant, Abe, tell us about yourself. Uh, yes, all basin, mate, all basin. A bit more relaxed, I like it. Yes. So without further ado, we begin the first round called Know Your News. The rules are simple. We play a news report and the contestants have to answer questions to do with the report. Be warned though, the questions may not be about the report itself. Play the report, Mr. Report Player. With over 600 million users and 1 billion pound being generated every year, is Facebook getting out of hand? We interview students from a local college to find out their opinions. Do you have a Facebook account? Yes. Why do you have a Facebook account? Because it seemed the most popular thing to do at the time. What else do you use it for? Uh, just chat with mates, that's really it. I don't do any of the games or anything on it. How would you access Facebook in your house? Uh, just on my computer, that's what I use you normally. <laughs> um, roughly, how many friends do you have on it? 241. Would you accept the friend request if it was from someone you didn't know? No, never. Anyway. Why? Because I won't talk to them and again, I only accept people I know. It's just the right thing to do. There are many ways to get onto Facebook through computer, through phone, through iPod. With such monstrosities on Facebook as this, is Facebook really? Compelling and rich. So the internet and this book thing. Do you have this internet book? Yeah, I have Facebook. That's nice to know. First question. Who is the current CEO of Facebook? Well, guys, but Kevin. Fast. Kevin. Not Kevin. Oh, no. Was, Glenn, uh, any answers? Pass. Pass. All right, that's a tie no. question. Question two. Roughly how many Facebook users are there? 43. Not 43. 250 million. A bit more than 250 million. 350 million? That'll do. The correct answer is 500 million. Get the points there. And finally, the third question. When was Facebook established? 2003. What's 2003? Okay, 2004. That is the correct answer. Oh, well done, yeah. Abe. What? That was the first news report. Let's begin the next one. The topic of antisocial behaviour orders, also known as ASPOs, is currently under talk by the government at the moment for its removal. So we're here in Exeter today to ask the people what they think. I think ASPOs are effective. I think it helps the person with an ASPO develop and be a better person. It also makes the community feel safer. ASPOs, I don't think they're that effective because for young people, like especially young people, I think they're like honorary tags. Like if you get an ASPO, that makes you like hard for some odd reason. We managed to gather some information from a local antisocial behaviour clinic, but unfortunately we were unable to record the interview. What is your opinion on the ASPO punishment? It's always been the same, nothing different. When problems of antisocial behaviour does occur, we always deal with it quietly and use communication to solve the problem. What is your opinion on the ASPO punishment? We only use it for special cases, but the authorities always talk to us before arranging court orders, for things like ASBOs anyway. In Devon we have rarely give out ASBOs as most issues are resolved quietly and it doesn't really need to go that far. So are ASBOs effective? There's obviously two sides to, the, to this argument and you have to make your own mind up. People of this town certainly seem to think so, yet others seem to think it's more of an honorary tag among young offenders. It's time to make your mind up. Back to the studio. That was fun. So any of you fine gentlemen have an ASBO yourselves? Of course not. No. No? No. Behave yourselves. Well done. Yeah. All right. Question one. What does ASBO stand for? Any social behaviour order? That is the correct answer. Well yes! done. Enthusiastic. Question two. When were ASBOs first introduced? 2000? Nope. 74 BC. No. Glenn, you get... Uh, the points for the close answer, the correct answer is actually 1998. Finally, the third question. Jesus True or false, ASBOs are used all over Europe? False. That's the correct answer. Well done. Well, that was Know Your News. We now begin a round called Mysterious Maths. 
a mass round of a difference. Why? Because it's mysterious. That's why. First question. What is 101 add 1 minus 1 add 1 minus 1? Come on, guys, a bit faster. Go on, guys. 101. That's, That's the correct it. answer. Well done. Question two. If I was very hungry and I ate 60% of a pie, how much pie would there be left? Uh, all the rest. No, all the rest is not the right answer. Uh, 40%. That's correct. Well done. Yes! And finally, the last question, the mysterious mass round. If, I, if two apples mysteriously disappeared, how many apples were there? Four. No. Hey. Two. That's the correct answer. Oh, well done. Yeah. Very well. Fun. Now on to our fourth and final round, general knowledge. The round that's about anything. So contestants, how much do you know about anything? First question. Out of Name four out of the eight teams that have won the World Cup. Germany. That's one. That's good. Hey. Ethiopia. Ethiopia have not won the World Brazil. Cup. Brazil. Brazil. Yeah, that's another one. Well done, Glenn. England. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Any more? Hey. Costa Rica. One point? Costa Rica have not oh, won it. Switzerland. Switzerland, no. You'll win around that, that round, though, with the correct, most correct answers. Question two. Who wrote the song, Just Can't Get Cash Enough? Mode. Oh, very quick. Well done. That's the correct answer. Oh, Third question. Which of the following films did Steven Spielberg not direct? Jaws, Titanic, Saving Private Ryan, and E.T.? Thumbelina. I did not say Thumbelina. That's not the right answer. Oh. Uh, is it Titanic? Yes, that's correct. Oh, Love well. that film. Okay. Question four. Which of these TV miniseries came first? The Pacific or Band of Brothers? Uh, Band, of, Band of Brothers. Right? That's well done. And finally, the fifth and final question. What game developer is responsible for Call of Duty? Uh, bit faster. Come on, guys. Last question. Abe, get a few points. Uh, no, a bit distance, Glenn. Uh, uh, come on, guys. Is it Frostbite? No, not Frostbite. Uh, Abe? Uh, no, I'm going to have to call out on the draw. The answer is Infinity Ward. Oh. Well, that was the final question, and that ends the game. Thank you to our contestants, Glenn and Abe, and thank you to our audience, and thanks to me.